see. Let me see. Uh, thank goodness you're awake, or I'll have to try my last ditch move. Emergency skills for junior patrollers. Lesson one, CPR. Ugh. Never did it on any living person, though. <laughs> just, yeah. Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <sighs> Are you alright? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. Gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar or someone returning home? So you don't know why you're here, where you're from? Or who you are. Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. It's probably going to get dangerous here soon. Ugh, I knew it. Our gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! Rover, I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90% Nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! Ha! Ah. Ha! Sounds comfortable. No hesitation. So you still remember how to fight despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my show for... What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight?
you saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but few. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the according to your description. You stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Jinzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chizia <sighs> might be in danger. Rover, please. Ha. Ah, disperse. <laughs> the hour is upon us. Strike from the shadows. Rover, watch out! Swift and resolute. One more time. Let me be your brain. Deference! The end has come. That was close. You fought so well, see? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a... When you see a beacon... When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, we are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent. But if your terminal's glider module still works, Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she?
This is the center of the Atheric Sea. A tacit field? When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like, in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. My apologies. I should have said it is temporarily safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually strong. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have... Now it's time to use the glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. for talking. Let's go. Swift 
and resolute. Be careful. Bad timing. No hesitation. One more time. Bad timing. Bad timing. Keep it together. And resolute. The hour is upon us. I sense your weakness. One more time. Bad timing. Let me be your blade. Let the winds roar. before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <laughs> Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminal. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd... Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. 
My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. No worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby Roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> We'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. Academy's Resonance Medical Department. Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember a comprehensive mirror for historians mentioned this in the Huang Wang section's opening. A celestial team descended, commanding the Tiangong's boundless power. As human mortal form, they condense the primordial essence, creating Tangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huang. If I may say, Rover, you seem quite mysterious too. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago. When Jinjo didn't even exist, could it be that Rover's like, like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. Joyful sense that it's in Jinjo has always been a crucial defense against attack. 
WhatsApp Discord and all breaks. Well, we have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders. There's no room for grief and failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens. Despite the challenges and toxic discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors. Uphold our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. I get this feeling. It's not because I'm now just straight up talking about it. It's all over. Why do I tell this to try and judge your relationship? I mean, about my own father. physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. Well, there don't seem to be... I didn't get you one that I can absorb. I, I never held back on my promise. Can you reenact what you did before? Maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. It doesn't have to be a certain type of tacit discord. Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. 
I got a different look, but, but the functions are pretty much the same. Unexpected discovery. One with the sounds. Huh. Strike from the shadows. Jinjo City's just up ahead! Rover? <laughs> there you are. 
My dearest, Seed of Fate. Alrighty, what should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the Gorges of Spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occur. Then I'll go submit our report, and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first. And we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinjo and all, she can't be left standing outside the City Hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then, I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. Yes. Of course. We won't- You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! We've got loads of fun in Jinjo! We can go watch lion dances! Here we are! Jinjo's... Exactly! Let me see, uh... Think of it as Jinjo's largest service station. Or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center. All of the smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one, and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here.
VIP the magistrate's expecting. Go see for yourself. Ew. First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most most people were advised to leave by the Magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either trying to apply for some other people, or just too stubborn to leave. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sunwa, and they were compelled to leave. What kind of description is that? Sounds like they've met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. She's the Magistrate's personal bodyguard. Oh, I've heard of her before. She's the all-round Death Glare slash Terminator Ice... Be That's what the rumors say, at least. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our Magistrate's description. Sure it can. Have you thought of something, Rover? You mean... I can't really keep up with your thoughts, but I think a meeting with a Magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anyway, our Magistrate's the best lead we have for now, no matter what she has in store for Rover. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? case how about meeting with the magistrate first she may have the answers you're looking for we're not allowed to go with you shizya and i will be right outside the city hall we'll be waiting for you that's right we're not going anywhere just give us a shout if anything goes down wait no we won't be able to hear you plus they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall VIP the magistrate's expected.
Please, follow me. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madame Magistrate. Apologies, my description was not accurate. Both you and Madam Magistrate look undistorted to me. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. Indeed, it was an oversight on my end. I will now import my contact information and that of all public services, like patrol stations, into your terminal. I will be here on standby, ready to assist whenever you need me. I need your terminal for regional access authorization. I will also configure the latest utility module for you. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. 
you will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the city hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Anything I can help you with? With pleasure. The Midnight Rangers, under General Jian's command. Additionally, there is a to most of the servicemen of to With pleasure. What do you wish to know about Jinjo? Anything I can help you with, Rover? and cause shortages. The... A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they will call... But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But... What does it mean as a token? Hmm. It seems like... a miniature sundial. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the twelve earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. Generally, the teal long represents the east, the white tiger stands for the west. The vermilion bird stands for the south. And fine. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. This leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what I think. I can... Never mind. 
sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this is. So Chizia and I share similar childhood memories of the sugar pearl. Do you remember it? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjou. Oh, right. Baja's still waiting for us at the academy.